Yeah. From Dandyland Studios, my name's Joey Helpish, and today we're gonna make an eight bar beat using Apple Loops in GarageBand on your iPad. I'm like your crazy uncle dad. I just said it cause it rhymed. Let's quit wasting time and get into it. I started this because I feel weird about making tutorials. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, we're going to learn how to make, uh, like I said, eight bar beats using Apple Loops in GarageBand on the iPad. So let's uh, activate the shrink ray. Okay. okay. Now I'm tiny and I'm little over here. And that joke was lame. So um, if you start... If you open up GarageBand and it doesn't look like this, all filey, and it looks like this, you need to hit that button on the upper left hand side that says My Songs, and we need to start our projects here. This is the file system inside of GarageBand on the iPad. Um, and so on the left here, here, I can't do things. Okay, so on the left, you'll see the little sidebar and it says recents on the top, boom, you can go like that. Do not get in the habit of opening things in your recents because when you start building out projects, it's gonna get confusing. Also, Apple loves to just throw things in your iCloud drive, but today we are gonna pretend like you're a crazy old lady who lives in the woods and rides around on a unicorn and you can't have Wi-Fi up there because it interrupts your unicorn's mind waves and we don't wanna put your unicorn under unnecessary uh, pressure and turmoil. So we're gonna make sure that we select on my iPad um, and then you'll see this GarageBand for iOS folder, and this is where we're gonna live. This is where we're gonna start things. You see, I already have a folder uh, called A. I name it A so it stays at the top, and that's just uh, things that I've already done. But yours should look like this without the A. It should uh, have the GarageBand file transfer folder and nothing else. Uh, we're not going to worry about the GarageBand file transfer folder today, but it is very useful for collaborating. Um, we are going to hit new song. And then you have two options up on the top. It says tracks by default here and then live loops. We'll do another video about live loops soon, but we're going to start with tracks and we're just going to scroll through here. So you have all these different instruments you get to play with, but we're just focusing on loops. So we're just going to hit audio recorder and then boom, it takes us into the audio recorder recorder. Now there's some buttons that you need to be aware of at the top, at the upper left hand side, there's a little piece of paper that's folded that will take you back to that file section that we just started with. Um, and then there's this little carousel thing that will open up a new instrument. And then there's what I call the Lego button, just looks like a bunch of Legos. And then there's the track settings button, which is three lines with three circles in it, we're going to click the Lego button. Boom, and now we get into this view. Um, and we're not gonna worry about instruments today. So we're not, this whole thing is not gonna uh, be used. We are going to go on the upper right hand side. There's some more buttons we need to know about. Um, all the way to the right, there's a little question mark button. I'll go away there. And you press that, and it's a little helpful guy. Then there is the settings button. That's the little gear. Uh, we're not going to worry about the settings at all. We're just going to keep it by default, which is 110 beats per minute in the key of C. We are going to come over to the loop browser right there. It looks like a little shoelace thing. Okay, a little roller coaster button. And then boom, we have all of our loops. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna grab drums. So you can see at the top here, all the way at the top, it says Apple Loops, file, music. We're just gonna use Apple Loops. Get more Apple Loops, not right now. And then um, there's a little X button, and then instruments, genres, descriptors, a search bar at the bottom, and then filter by. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit instruments and then we're gonna hit drum kits. Now this is going to get, uh, actually, you know what? Let's make it more fun. Let's just hit all drums. Boom. 
So now you have all of these beats. Now this is very important. When we start, we're just working with WAV files. That means just recorded sounds. These yellow guys, that's the robot drummer. We're not worrying about them right now. We just want blue loops. We just want the blue files. And see if you press it. Man, when we just keep going through. Yeah. Let's start with that ridiculous rap beat that, that I started off with. Okay, we like that. So we're gonna press and hold, and look at that, it gets all wiggly, and then we can drag it over here, and boom, it sets up its own file. Now to hear that clicking sound on the upper right hand side, right next to the volume right here, see that moving? Okay, there's a little blue button, that's your click track, we don't need it, because uh, we're using Apple Loops. It's all synced up and magical, like your unicorn. So we're going to, oh yeah. Okay, so now we have a drum. Um, and now we're going to, Go grab a bass. So we want drums and then we want a bass. So open up the loop browser again. We're going to click where it said all drums and we're just going to click on bass. Okay, now we need to filter by. So um, below bass is the search bar and then it says filter by. What this will do is help um, you find things that match up really well. So see that button on the bottom? There's three buttons there. Boom, I hit scale. And I, since we're uh, doing this to please your unicorn, we're gonna do major. Major is happy, minor is sad. Um, so then we're gonna click back. This will only give us happy sounding basses. So how, what about that frisky synth? What's that like? Interesting. Now, what if I wanna hear what it sounds like with the drums? Now to get out of this, um, pop-up menu, I'm just gonna press outside of the menu, not in the menu, boom, and it goes away. Now I'm gonna hit play. Now I'm gonna go back and do that again. I'm gonna hit the loop browser and hit that frisky synth bass and it will sync up to let me know. So I can, I can go through different ones, Groovy Electric. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, keep shining. We like it when your unicorn shines. So we're gonna press and hold that and drag it over to the beginning. Uh. Yeah, totally. This is totally feeling unicorny. Oh yeah. Okay, so now, let's turn that down a little bit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add something synthy. So we're gonna come back to this loop browser. Um, we're gonna keep the filter by on the scale with major. So we don't need to touch that, but we need to click on bass and let's go click on synths. And then we're just gonna press them and find one that sounds good. Not quite, but close. But what about Frisky? Okay, how about an ARP? That's weird. Ooh, I like that. Love it. So I'm going to press and hold and bring it over there. Okay, so now we have just a basic three instrument, eight bar loop. Oh, yeah. This is my unicorn beat. It's the beat that I listen to when I'm riding on my unicorn. But I don't have Wi-Fi, cause it messes with my unicorn's mind waves. 
Oh, my unicorn's mind waves. Yeah, my unicorn's mind waves. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we did it. So here's the thing. We're going to do this again, and I want you to do this over and over and over, even if the reason you're like, oh, Joey, I'm, I'm not trying to make loops and like use other. I want to play my own instruments. I want to do my own thing. Cool, buddy. I want you to do that, too. But the first thing you need to do is get good at using this thing. Um, and there's all these things. Uh, that we need to do um, and, and you know we just need to practice the steps the process so with GarageBand on the iPad it automatically saves once you make stuff um, so that little piece of paper on the upper left hand side I'm gonna hit that boom it automatically named it my song it will keep doing that and the more that you make it'll be like my song two my song 376 because you just love the process so much so i'm going to hit create song again and i'm going to hit the microphone again and i'm going to hit the lego button again and now i'm going to come here and we're going to click Oh, we have to click off that filter by. Remember when we hit that? It'll just stay there. So we're going to click any. Now we got some drums. Now we're going to find, how about this one? Eh. Ooh, I like that. The unicorn's going to love listening to this when I ride the unicorn. Okay, let's remember to take that blue button off, that click. Okay, we're just going to listen to this. Now we're going to come in to filter by. And you know what? Maybe we we have we have an attitude. The unicorn has an attitude, and we need to like represent that. So let's go filter by minor. And now let's go to bass. Um, let's just scroll around. Ooh, higher and higher bass. What's that? Not enough attitude. Ooh, yeah. There we go. That's some sassy unicorn steez. Okay, now we're gonna go find a synth. That's, that's too much unicorn sass. Oh. That's cool, but it's a little too much for me right now. Ooh, cooler vibes. That's the one. I can just tell. Okay, and then you just keep going, but as you go, you're gonna get bored and be like, oh, Joey said just to do the same thing over and over. Uh, what can I do? Uh, well, let's go in, and instead of selecting synths, let's, uh, let's click the mallet thing. Let's see what some mallets sound like. Okay, let's bring that over here. Cool, and we can keep building. Um, but before we go, let me just show you a little thing, okay? I can um, tap on that and then tap on it again, and then I get this menu, okay? Tap it on the blue file of the instrument, get this menu, I'm gonna go to settings. And ooh, what are all these things? By default, it says looping, okay, that makes sense because it just loops automatically. Follow the tempo and pitch. I wonder what that means. Maybe we might talk about that in a second. But it also says reverse. Okay, what did that do? Interesting. But you know, that's a little too loud. I want it to be quieter. So I'm going to take my finger and swipe from left to right on top of where these instrument icons are. Holy unicorn, look at that stuff. So now I'm gonna hit play, and I just wanna turn that down. Just want it kinda in the background. Yeah, nice. Um, okay, so I will do more videos on how to do this with actually playing the instruments yourself. I'll do more videos on um, how to turn these eight bar loops 
into songs. But the first thing I want you to do is just get into this process and have fun. It's pretty fun. Um, and then you have all these eight bar loops. You can take your iPad. You don't even have to connect it to Wi-Fi, and you can just bump that stuff right on top of your unicorn, and you can have super duper amounts of awesomeness in your life, I promise. But please start here and seriously do this 20 times. Just do this a bunch and get used to the process of working in GarageBand um, on your iPad and then taking your beats and writing your unicorn in style. I hope you have a badass day and I love you. Keep making stuff, would you?